Hyperlative. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And this is actually some Brink gameplay. Wow! <laughs> um, and I just gotta tell you, there was a lot of bots in this game because... Brink has a system where it fills up the teams evenly, even though there's not enough human players. So it just fills the teams with bots. And this um, this match, I, I'm not sure how many human players there were, and those who were were horrible. Uh, they're probably noobs like me. Um, so there is quite a lot of uh, horrible gameplay from their side. Not so good gameplay from my side. I, I mean. Just so, just so you know, don't hate me. They're just bad bots like this. I mean, <laughs> what the hell was that? Um, what I kind of wanted to talk about in this video is something that I, some kind of ideas that Brink has that I really think is awesome, and I was hoping that uh, Battlefield 3 would implement. So, one of them was what you just saw, where people are throwing. Uh, revive syringes to people that are down like I'm doing right here and instead of me actually reviving the dude I just give him the opportunity to revive himself so that way I can give him the opportunity by being near him but I don't I don't ever Rambo revive him because I really can't he has to revive himself essentially so as I said I give him the opportunity but I don't uh, go against what he wants to do. Um, of course, you could argument that the whole point of Battlefield is perhaps that you should communicate, and if you don't want to be revived, you should communicate that to your surrounding team members, or your team members should perhaps just get the fact that you're in the middle of the fire zone, you're in the middle of the line of fire, you don't want to get revived. So there's of course that side of the argument, but it's kind of a neat neat idea that you don't necessarily get Rambo revived if you don't want to because you're only given the opportunity to revive, not necessarily the revive itself. Another thing that I think is kind of neat in Brink is that it's a really team-based and squad-based shooter, much like what Battlefield aims to be. and. Battlefield in very much is, especially compared to something like Call of Duty. But what I think is really neat in Brink is the fact that it doesn't count your kill-death ratio at all. All it counts is how much XP do you really earn. And I think that's a really neat idea because it kind of eliminates the, fa the reason to camp a little for some of the KD whores may not enjoy this game that much because, well, let's face it, they're not getting anything out of it. They can't read how many kills and how many deaths they have anywhere in the game. It's not even recorded. It just isn't. And there is also the fact they, that they get more XP if they give buffs or ammo or anything like that to their teammates. There's a, just a lot more... XP to earn if you help out your teammates instead of killing the enemies. So I really think that it's more lucrative to actually just hang up back a little and help your teammates instead of necessarily go kill Horn. But it's not lucrative to just hang back and spawn and try to shoot people from there because you're not going to do anything. First of all, no one is going to come by you and second of all, it's more effective to actually hang up with your teammates because that's where all the big XP is. So, I, I was really hoping for a while that Battlefield 3 might perhaps you know, kind of adapt that kind of gameplay where it's not about the KD, ra KD ratio but more of the te teamwork. And Battlefield Bad Company 2 does a really great job of kind of rewarding teamwork where you're, you're even getting more XP if you're helping out your squad uh, as opposed to just helping out your team. But um, I th really think that Brink has nailed it on its head. So um, that's kind of it. And as just as a last note, I really don't think that 
Battlefield 3 is, n is not gonna that it's not gonna not include a KD ratio counter kind of deal because of the battle battle log that was just announced. It's gonna keep detailed track of everything you do in the game. So the KD ratio is gonna be there, no doubt. That is the end of the clip, guys. That's the ending cinematic, and this is the round ending screen coming up in just a second, where I think I leveled once or twice. I'm not really sure. Um, I leveled, I leveled once. Yeah, that, that's it, and got a lot of new unlocks. So um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from Brink. I hope to see you next time. Stuckus.